My name is Scott Metzger and uh, I'm kind of working on a project uh, called RISE where we're basically taking the K6000 and we're using the full potential of the memory capabilities of that graphics card which comes to about 12 gigabytes. Having that 12 gigabytes of RAM allows us to really quickly place together these photo, uh, photo real environments for, for shooting film. So what we have here is we have seven and a half K images taken from a Nikon D800. Uh, these uh, photographs have the complete full range so I can actually adjust the exposure all the way down. We have the full light information in the scene files along with all the, uh, the darker shadowed areas as well. So if I can you know, change to another frame, you can see we have this big loft environment. And uh, you can see here we have like the full range of the other buildings downtown Los Angeles. So there's a lot of image uh, fidelity with the photography. The other thing that's needed is to actually scan this. So what we did is we took a Faro 3D focus scanner and it's like a little lighter device that sits in the room and it just kind of surveys uh, everything in the scene file. And uh, once we have that, we have all this geometry and what you're seeing is you're seeing a quick little rough area of geo for the actual scene. So if I go into wireframe mode, you can see here that everything is completely in 3D. And what you are actually wanting to do is take the photography and project it on here. So I'm going to turn everything else back off again. And what we'll do is we're going to find a frame to actually start painting this. So I'm kind of bringing down the exposure just so I can see a little better. And you just kind of like go through this and just start, uh, start painting the set based on all the real photography. So that's pretty cool. And then once I'm actually done, I'm gonna bake this. It's gonna bake this 8K projection onto the geometry. And what's really important is to be able to take all this detail and place it onto the geometry in a high-res manner. Having extremely high resolution maps on the GPU, having them actually load up and have multiple ones um, really, really exciting. Uh, what we can also do is I can render this out in a 3D package and add depth of field and motion blur, uh, start adding reflections to the environment. And so what you're able to do is really quickly have an environment that never existed and bring it to life. So as a visual tool, as a, a filmmaking tool, it's really fantastic. So what I'm going to show you now is this is actually a render in V-Ray 3. And so what we're going to what we're going to try to do with this is get it to play. So this is just an HD test that was rendered out. Uh, all the banking of lighting and shading information is in the photography. So you're really not calculating anything other than the uh, image resolution. And because you have the HDR data, you can get some really nice light effects that are all happening in the render as well. Uh, the only thing post on this was a, a film LUT that was added. You know, I mean, the possibilities of creating these virtual, virtual sets, virtual worlds, you know, like the limits prior are actually now uh, non-existent. How does it make me feel to use the K yeah. K6000? Uh, like a god, you know, I mean, it doesn't get more than that. I mean, you're literally creating worlds.